Starting about 10 years ago, I realized that I, I needed to start practicing what I preach. And by that I mean that uh, I was never really happy with my, my diet. I don't think it was that healthy. Uh, I certainly was not exercising anywhere near the level I had been exercising many years before in high school uh, and in college. And I was reading about dietary supplements, but not taking any. And then I realized the central role that nitric oxide plays in all of this. And I realized, oh my goodness, I could really do something about this. This stuff is starting to make sense. And you know, it's never too late to turn yourself around. So I'm going to change my lifestyle. And I did. I changed my diet. I was eating lots of saturated fats. I was eating beef four or five days a week. I cut that down to one day a week. I increased my fish intake to three days a week. Uh, importantly, I cut down on the number of calories per day. Taking too many calories has been shown today actually to be quite detrimental to your health. Aside from even weight gain, it's just the number of calories that you take in uh, for some reason is, is not very healthy. So I've decreased my uh, calories. Then I decided, well, I'm starting to lose some weight. This is great. Now I'm going to start an exercise program. So I started my exercise program by going to the gym, running on the treadmill, which was very difficult to do. I would walk and run and walk and run, and I would use the stationary bicycle. I would use the elliptical machine. I started to do some weights, and I started to lose more weight, so I'm feeling better. And then I decided to start running outside. This is Southern California. It's beautiful here. Some mornings are gorgeous for running. I started to run, and I realized that that was a very difficult thing to do, but I kept pushing and pushing. Uh, and that worked out okay. And then I had this bright idea at the age of 64 of running my first marathon. Now, I'm not sure if that was a bright idea. It wasn't a bright idea once I finished, but I did run that first marathon. And, and that was really um, an awakening for me because it realized that I was not in shape to run a marathon. Uh, although I had been working out quite a bit, and that I had to do a lot more. So I, I improved my diet even more. Uh, I started taking dietary supplements, because now we knew that certain dietary supplements could be taken that would increase nitric oxide production by taking a mixture of amino acids and antioxidants. I used to make these concoctions in the laboratory, because you couldn't buy them anywhere, and I would take them, and I would put them in my water bottle when I was running. And to make a long story short, uh, the six months in between my first two marathons, I cut my marath marathon time down from about five hours and 50 minutes to four hours and 28 minutes. And that impressed me. And then I continued to do this. And the result is I've run 13 marathons since uh, the first one, uh, I believe in, in 2004. Uh, and and what I can attest to is that if I can change my lifestyle and make it so much more positive that I, anybody else can do the same thing. This was hard work, but it involved very simply changing your diet to a healthy diet. There are lots of books that one can read on how to eat a healthy diet. Very importantly, an exercise program has to be instituted, a regular exercise program and also taking the right kinds of dietary supplements. So w when I started to take my amino acid antioxidant mix, I started to realize that there were many more, other, uh, many more kinds of supplements that one could take that would be very important as antioxidants, as other things that would help um, exercise performance and that would uh, enhance cardiovascular health. So, to, to make a long story short then, if I would give you a list or at least a partial list of what I take every day, it includes one, this amino acid antioxidant mix that I take for cardiovascular protection and for increased performance. I also take uh, a relatively new supplement product on the market called coenzyme Q10 or simply CoQ10, um, which is good for the heart. It's good for generating energy in the heart. Um, I take 
fish oil because probably today singularly the most important supplement that humans can take is fish oils that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, I can't think of anything more important as a food to ingest than omega-3 fatty acids. And of course fish is the product that has most of that uh, omega-3. You can buy them as capsules, supplements, uh, that have lots of uh, omega-3. Um, I take vitamin D because years ago doctors told you that you should only take 400 units of vitamin D a day and if you took more than that you didn't need it and it would, might be dangerous. Well then scientists began to uncover that many people, many Americans are deficient in vitamin D and it turns out that over 90 percent of Americans are deficient in vitamin D. How deficient? Well a couple of years ago the FDA raised their 400 units a day limit to 2,000 and now it's been recently increased to 5,000. So we are really deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, stimulates all kinds of different pathways in the body. It regulates metabolism in general. It has so many beneficial effects it would just take an hour to explain them all. But it's a very important vitamin to regulate functions uh, in the body. And then there are other substances. Chromium is another uh, element that's um, uh, important to take because different enzymes in the body and proteins in the body use different kinds of elements and, and metals and so on to, to do their thing. So, so that becomes uh, important. And then as new antioxidants are developed, uh, I think it becomes important to take them. I, for one, take resveratrol which is a complicated antioxidant present in red grapes that um, has uh, tremendous applications, implications in cardiovascular health. But there are antioxidants present in other fruits and vegetables that are, that are also good. I take uh, pomegranate extracts. There are not too many available. There are some. I take pomegranate extracts and when I can't I drink pomegranate juice or I eat the whole pomegranate fruit, although that can stain your clothes if you're not careful uh, when you're eating that. But th that's just sort of a, a, a partial list of the, uh, of the dietary supplements I take. And I, I want to say that I take them every day, not every other day and not every week. I don't take a vacation from them. So if I go to Italy and I go cycling for a week, part of that suitcase has those dietary supplements. And often the suitcase gets examined through customs and they want to know, well, what's this? And I tell them and they go, oh.